Cassie, we should be there this afternoon. No problem. Are you doing okay? As expected. I know what you mean. Oh, there you are. Uh, yeah, Tobias said you were looking for me before. I just wanted you to shut your dog up. I'll talk to you later, Cassie. Okay, bye. I, uh, I didn't make the team. What team? What team? The basketball team. Your old team. Oh, too bad. Too bad? It's just sports. Just sports? Uh, yeah, I guess I just don't have your skills. Well, I quit the team anyway, a couple days ago. Wait, you quit? You quit the team and you didn't even talk to me about it? What's the deal? I didn't say anything because I knew you and Dad would make a big thing of it. Look, there are more important things than throwing balls through hoops. Besides, we do much cooler stuff at the sharing. Maybe you should join up. Uh, I'll think about it. I better get the grass cut. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Hey guys. We've got a big situation. What? Read this newspaper. Police claim there had been a disturbance in the construction site the night before. Several people had called claiming they'd seen flying saucers landing there, followed by bright lights and explosions. Cool! So the cops know about it now. Well, that's a relief. Keep reading. The police had arrived on the scene and found a group of teenagers playing with fireworks. The teenagers had run away, fireworks were discovered at the scene, and the police are laughing at the reports of flying saucers. He stated it was just a bunch of kids playing where they shouldn't have been. There were definitely no flying saucers. People shouldn't be so quick to believe this nonsense. This is a lie! Ding, 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 ding! Correct answer! Johnny, tell him what he's just won! Did you see the last part? Police offering a reward for information on the teenagers? They're looking for us. Why would the police be... I mean, why would they lie? Let's see, Captain Brilliant. Would it be because the cops are controllers? <laughs> Uh, probably not all the cops. It's the police have been infiltrated by the controllers. Who knows how many others have too? Professors, people in the government, the newspapers and the TV, math professors for sure. I tried to tell myself it was all a dream. Yeah, been there. Look, why don't we just deal with this? I say we just forget it. We never talk about it. We never morph. We just deal with our own lives. Marco, I halfway agree with you, We but... could all get killed, don't you get it? You saw what happened in El Fangor. I mean, this is dangerous stuff, Jake. This is for real. Real. We could all get killed. <sighs> Look, I think these controllers are jerks. But if something were to happen to me, my dad, he wouldn't be able to handle it. Ever since my mom drowned and her body was never found, my dad lost it big time. He totally fell apart. He quit his job at the industrial engineering company because he just couldn't handle being around other people. Now he's working as a night janitor, making barely enough to support me. You can all think I'm a weasel if you want. I don't care. But if I get killed or something, my dad will flat out die. He's only hanging in there because of me. Uh, <clears throat> there's Cassie. Cassie and I have been here for a while. She's really good at this. Look how fast she can do it. Hey, kids. What the? Hey, it's cool. It's just Cassie. We'd better turn around while she finishes. Cassie, that is so cool. You look like half human and half horse. You can certainly control your morph. Is it safe to look yet? Okay, boys, it's safe to look now. The cops! <laughs>